Well, hello there, and welcome back to another video. Um, it's been a while since I've done a proper video. Um, this is a new setup. I'm probably gonna change this in a month or two, uh, because that's what I always do. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to clean install your Microsoft Surface device. All right, let's go. So contrary to some forums on the internet, the best way to clean install a Microsoft Surface device isn't via an ISO image, but rather via a recovery image, mainly because an ISO image doesn't include some extras specifically intended for Microsoft Surface devices. An ISO image is mainly intended for setting up a virtual machine or clean installing Windows on a custom built PC, like the one that is connected to this monitor. So we've established that the best way to install Windows on a Microsoft Surface device is via a recovery image. But now the question is, how are you supposed to do that? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so first things first, you need to make sure that you have all the right devices. So um, of course you need to have your Microsoft Surface. I'm gonna be using a Surface Pro 3 specifically for this. Um, the hard drive is dead, but I'm just gonna be using this to show you how to do it. Um, second, you need a USB drive. Um, I'm using the SanDisk USB 3.0 drive. You can also use a USB 2.0 drive, except the speeds will be significantly slower. So if you have a 3.0 drive, definitely use it as it's gonna help dramatically. So the third thing, you might need this, you might not, but a secondary device running Windows 10 or later. This is for if you prefer to use a faster device um, for this process or your Surface device isn't working and you need to restore it somehow. Okay, now we've got all our devices, let's find out how to get the recovery image and restore our Surface. So step one, go onto any web browser you like, except for Internet Explorer, and go to google.com. Now type in the search bar under the Google logo, download recovery image. These results should pop up and click on the first option. Okay, now you should be on this page. Scroll down and you should see this. If you do, then you are on the right page. So it's going to say select a Surface product and enter your serial number. So if you know where your serial number is on your device, you don't need to worry about the select a Surface product option. But if you don't know where the serial number is, then selecting the correct Surface product will show you where the serial number is on your device on my Surface Pro 3, it's located under the Microsoft logo under the kickstand. Okay, so after you've entered your serial number correctly, there should be one or more options for a recovery image download. If there are two or more options, click on download recovery image next to the option with the highest version number. And if there's one option, well, there's only one option. There's only one download recovery image button. So you are going to click that button and a file uh, a compressed folder, a zip file, should start downloading. Okay, now while this file is downloading, this is where your USB drive comes into play. So plug your USB drive into your computer and go to the search icon or search bar in your taskbar and then type in recovery. An option showing create a recovery drive should show. Click on it. Now deselect the option that says backup system files to the recovery drive. You do not want that. Then click next. It should load the drives and your, your USB drive should be instantly selected. It should be pre-selected. Then click next and it'll create the recovery drive. In a couple minutes, it should say, your recovery drive is ready. Hooray, but do not unplug the drive yet. Now, after your zip file has finished downloading, go into your file explorer, locate the file and extract the, extract the whole zip folder. Okay, so after you've extracted the folder, open it up and you should see um, all these folders, like many, many folders with a couple of files at the end. If you do see those, select all of those files, copy them over to your recovery drive. So there is a chance that when you're 99, 98, 97% done with copying the files over to your drive, uh, the file explorer could say, hey, um, the destination has a hundred uh, something files with the same names. And if you do see that, click on replace the files in the destination. This will take quite a bit of time, especially if you have a USB 2.0 drive. So just be patient. Don't freak out. Now, finally, after the files have finished copying over to the drive, it is now safe to unplug it and, you know, stop using your secondary machine if you are using one then shut down your Surface device.
Okay, now wait for a few seconds, then plug in your USB drive into your Surface and follow these steps to boot from the USB drive. Hold the volume down button, press and release the power button, and then, once the spinning dots show under the Surface or Microsoft logo, let go of the volume down button. Okay, now, this blue screen popped up. Oh no, is my Surface device dead? Have I done anything wrong? No, no, you have not done anything wrong. This is perfect. This is exactly where you want to be. The, mic, the, the monitor just shut off. Select your language, select your region, and now you should be on this screen with around four to five options. The first option should be recover from a drive. If you don't see recover from a drive as the first option, then click on troubleshoot and it should be there. Click on that. And now it should show two options, either just keep my files or fully clean the drive. A lot of forums on the internet say, if you're keeping your Surface device, just keep your files. But if you're recycling the Surface, then fully clean the drive. You do not want to just keep your files. You want to fully clean the drive. You want a fresh start from your Surface. That is what a clean install is. So you're gonna select fully clean the drive. And now think twice before you want to reset your Surface. Are, is all your data backed up? Is nothing important on that Surface? Like nothing very, very important that you do not want to lose. Okay, if you have if you have double checked and you are sure that you want to reset your surface, then press recover and the recovery process should begin. After around like 15 to 20 minutes, I'm pretty sure, um, this screen should pop up. This is the Windows setup screen. You should either see a Windows 10 setup screen if you have a surface that um, came pre-installed with Windows 10, a Windows 8.1 setup screen if you had a surface that came pre-installed with 8.1, or a Windows 11 setup screen. If you have a Surface that came pre-installed with Windows 11, or if you're watching this in the very far future, a Surface that came pre-installed with Windows 27. So once you've gotten to the setup page, you can safely unplug your USB drive, and here you go. You have now successfully recovered your Surface, and the operating system installed on it is quite literally good as new. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, take a shower, do whatever you need to do. Please like and subscribe. I hope this, um, I hope this helped you um, with your Surface problems or unproblems if you just wanted to just recover it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!